Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, okay? So, what if I told you that problems like these are very cheap to handle in math? What if I told you that you have in you that capacity to learn all of these and do them very easily as much as possible? All you need is just focus and, you know, trust and believe in your ability. Alright, so this is an example, an exercise from one of my videos and one of our viewers is asking for a solution. Alright, so this is the initial equation which we also call exponential equation. And I said in that video that one of the rules of exponential, of indices that will always help you handle exponential equation is the rule that says that a raised to the power of x is equal to a raised to the power of y. Now, once this happens, then it implies that your x is equal to your y. That means when the basis of two index numbers that are on both sides of an equation are the same, therefore their powers are the same. Now, remember that there is an exception. Your a must not be 1, and some people will say and 0. Okay, so... Now, in other words, whenever you're giving a problem like this, your, uh, your, you know, your target is how can I put the both sides to be in index form where you have only one index for a uh, number on both sides and the, the, the base of each of them will be the same. So now all of my target will be here now is how to achieve that. I have a fraction here. How can I put the two of them together to be one index number and their base just have one base? And this one will have the same base with whatever I will get here. And that's very achievable. So, and how do you do that? You now begin to pull at the rules of indices that you know. All right. So, first of all, I know that there are three index numbers here. So, and the least base here is three. So, what am I expected to do? I will try to reduce these other bases. To be in base 3. So I can write 9 as 3 raised to power 2. And there's already a power existing there. That means the one I am bringing up now will multiply that one. So I will have 2x plus 1. And that is equal to, I will do the same to the one up there. And I know it's 1 is 3 raised to power 4. And that 4 will multiply x uh, minus 2. And then that is all over 3 raised to power x. Okay, so I'm done with reducing everything to the same base. So I open up the brackets there, that's simplification. So that's going to give me 3 raised to the power. This will give us 4x plus 2 is equal to, on this other side, if I uh, open the other bracket, I will have 4x minus 8. So I'll have 4x minus 8, and that is over 3 raised to the power x. But then... I will now say, okay, on this side, how do I now make everything to be one index number? So you know that there is a rule also that told us that if a is raised to the power of x is divided by a raised to the power of y, the same base, then you can pick only one base and subtract the powers. If it is division, division changes to subtraction, multiplication changes to addition. And so you apply that here. Your left-hand side is already good, so you are not doing anything to this side. But this side, you will now pick one base, which is 3, and then subtract 4x minus 8, and then you minus x from it. Okay, and you are done. So immediately you have achieved this, which is the first thing we said. The bases are now the same, and so their powers will be the same. So 4x plus 2 must be equal to this other one. And what is this? 4x minus x is 3x minus 8. And so I will collect like terms. Let 3x come here and let 2 go to the other side. If 3x comes here, I will have 4x minus 3x is equal to minus 8 minus 2. And that is going to give me 4x minus 3x is x. Minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10. That is I can never be put to shame. I can never be put to shame.